Today, we're headed to Roosevelt Island, located in New York City's East River between Manhattan and Queens. It's got multiple parks, historic buildings, shops, a rooftop bar with great views, and a tram ride you don't want to miss. This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. Where we make videos about epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventures. While you can get to Roosevelt Island by subway or car or bus, or even ferry, let's face it, you should absolutely take the tram. For the cost of a single MTA fare, this awesome ride will take you from Manhattan over the East River alongside the Queensboro Bridge onto Roosevelt Island and give you amazing views of the city. The tram will run every seven minutes or so during rush hour and every 15 minutes throughout the day. And just know that you do have to pay each time. Now that we've arrived, we'll be walking the paved promenade around the whole island, which is 3.8 miles. Don't forget to look back up at the Queensboro Bridge. Our first spot will be in South Point Park, the FDR Hope Memorial, where you'll see two bronze statues, one of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt in a wheelchair, for whom Roosevelt Island is named after, and a young girl with crutches. The memorial was unveiled on the 31st anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act and honors Roosevelt's advocacy for people with disabilities. The next spot in the park is the Smallpox Memorial Hospital, which opened in 1856 with 100 beds and was designed to contain those infected from the smallpox outbreaks at the time. The hospital closed in the 1950s. You'll next reach the Franklin Delano Roosevelt Four Freedoms Park at the southern end of the island. First up a series of steps and then a wide greenscape flanked by two rows of trees with places to sit, you'll see a bust of FDR at the end of the island. This granite roofless space is known as the Room and contains excerpts of Roosevelt's famous 1941 State of the Union address where he outlined his four freedoms for people everywhere in the world. With a clear view of the United Nations, there's generally nice views here too. Heading back north, you'll pass the Strecker Memorial Laboratory, which was built in 1892 next to the hospital, and the first place in the nation for bacteriological research, also closed in the 1950s. At this point, we're going to make a beeline to the northern part of the island on the eastern side. You'll get a different view of the Queensboro Bridge, and you'll largely be passing the residential part of the island to your left. Eventually, you'll reach the 3.5-acre Lighthouse Park, where you'll be greeted by the Girl Puzzle by artist Amanda Matthews, a series of faces and spheres in honor of activist journalist Nellie Bly. Beyond the Girl Puzzle on the northernmost tip of Roosevelt Island is the lighthouse itself. Erected from stone in 1872 and operated until 1940 with several restorations since. From here, we ventured back along the western side of the island along the promenade before making our way to the commercial center on Main Street. Here you'll find places to eat, gift shops, bars, grocery stores. People do live here on the island after all. Since this was the dead of winter, it was time to enjoy a hot beverage before heading to the final spot on the island, the Panorama Room in the Graduate Hotel. With plenty of seating inside and a small jazz trio, plus, you know, a bar, you need to visit the Panorama Room for the outside balcony. Easily one of the best views you can get in the city, and at night no less. Hard to beat that, honestly. From here, it was time to head back, and that means the tram again, where you'll be treated to spectacular views as you ascend over the East River, returning back to Manhattan. Just never gets old. And that's Roosevelt Island. Let us know what you think in the comments. Otherwise, we'll see you on the trails or in the water.